Ash Award, Registered Dietitian from Western Wisconsin Health. Thanks for tuning in to our Living Green Wellness Series. Today I'm going to talk about sugar addiction. Sugar addiction is a big problem for many of us, especially if we live in the United States. We have many, many different foods and beverages, as you can see, that are full of sugar. But many of our processed foods have sugar that we don't even know about. We usually recommend that you start by looking at what you're drinking because those are really easy places to make changes around your sugar intake. But the next step would be looking at food. Sugar addiction actually can contribute to, or eat, just eating too much sugar in general, to high blood sugars, blood sugar swings, which can actually result in mood swings and affect how you feel, um, in addition to your concentration and definitely weight gain. This is probably one of the primary places that I would look if someone is struggling with their weight. You're probably wondering how much added sugar can a person have in a day. The recommendations currently are for five to eight teaspoons of sugar for both adults and children. Children really should have less than five teaspoons per day. The amounts for that would be 20 to 32 grams of added sugar if you're looking at a label. We have several beverages in front of us that have sugar added to them. One of the highest ones would be a blended coffee drink, like a frappuccino or a cooler that you can get at many of our different coffee houses. This size blended coffee drink has this much sugar in it, 23 teaspoons of sugar or 91 grams. So if you're supposed to stick to five to eight teaspoons or less per day, you've already exceeded that for the next four days. This size orange soda has 22 teaspoons of sugar. Unfortunately, this is the choice we might give a lot of our children because it's an orange flavor. So we might think it's a better choice and it actually is higher in sugar than Mountain Dew, which is still not a villain um, in this story because it is 19 teaspoons of sugar. Sobe, this drink is normally a pink drink. It's the strawberry banana has 18 teaspoons of sugar. So we're gonna whittle away a few off the top, but we still have a lot of sugar added to our Sobe. A Monster Energy drink, and this is the 16 ounce, there are larger sizes than this, as well as the Powerade and the iced tea all have 14 teaspoons of added sugar. The Monster, of course, also has a lot of caffeine, about the equivalent of three to four cups of coffee. The Frappuccino that's bottled, so not the one like this one that you would get at the coffee house, has 12 teaspoons of added sugar. The cranberry juice actually has the same amount. Now, normally fruits do have natural sugars and we do like to get some fruits, of course, each day, and some natural sugar is okay. But typically, in, in many juices, and especially cranberry juice, um, you're going to see a lot of additional added sugar to make it sweet enough to drink. So really, most of that is going to be added sugar. Vitamin water, which, of course, seems like it might also be a healthy option because it has added vitamins. There's actually not that many added vitamins to make it worth drinking has eight teaspoons of added sugar. And last but not least, many kids' favorite drink, chocolate milk. This size chocolate milk, which is 12 ounces, so a little bit bigger than the carton that they might get at school, has six teaspoons of added sugar. Um, there is some naturally occurring sugar in milk as well, so that is not including the lactose from milk. That's just the added sugar for the chocolate syrup. So if your child's drinking multiple of these a day, they're probably getting a lot of added sugar just from chocolate milk. One exception for chocolate milk is that it's a great recovery drink for athletes. So after doing a lot of strenuous activity, it can be a good choice. It has just the right nutrients. So you might be wondering what you should be drinking. One of the best options would be water. Plain water would be great, but infused water would be another option that would give you some extra flavor without any additional sugar or calories. This particular um, drink in front of us has some fruit in it. It has some melon and some berries. There's a lot of really great recipes using different types of berries, different types of melon, lemons, limes, mint. You can kind of 
just be creative and try different flavors. What you want to do is have it um, sit, the fruit sit in the water for about an hour or more. You can buy an infused water bottle that'll let you do that easily with each drink, or you can um, just put fruit into a pitcher of water at home and leave it in the refrigerator. Other options, if you just really can't drink that much water um, and you need a little bit more flavor, might be some of these bottled options. This is a probiotic drink, one of my personal favorites. It's very tasty and it actually gives you extra probiotics, which are very good for your gut. This one actually only has one gram of sugar and it does, does have some sweetness to it. These drinks, we have Sobe Life Water, Azevia Root Beer Soda, and by five, coconut flavored, are all drinks that contain some stevia to give it a little bit more sweetness. If you feel you can tolerate stevia and like it, it is a natural sweetener. We're still learning more about it and how people tolerate it. Um, I wouldn't recommend drinking a lot of these each day, but if you just needed something different, it would maybe be an option to consider. You might notice that I don't have any diet sodas here. Don't typically recommend um, drinking any artificially sweetened beverages if you can help it. There is research to suggest that those might also um, cause problems somewhat similar to what all these sugary drinks do where it can actually change your appetite so you still wanna eat more. Um, really in the end, water is the best beverage and that's what we would always encourage you to focus on. In conclusion, if you're going to try to fight your sugar addiction, I would suggest that you start becoming more aware of how much sugar you're actually eating or drinking. Start looking at labels and looking at the sugar amount that is on the label. One thing to be aware of is that four grams equals about one teaspoon of sugar. So you can do the math when you're looking at the label. In the future, around 2018, added sugars will actually be on the nutrition label, so it'll be a little easier to figure out which sugars are natural sugars and which are added. I would also highly suggest that you're looking at all foods and condiments. Many of our foods have additional sugar that we just don't need. Uh, look at granola bars, yogurt, ketchup, the list could go on and on. Any packaged foods may have additional sugar, so it'd be good to look at those too. One thing to think about is what should you be eating more of? Try to eat more whole foods, more fruits and vegetables. Protein is really important to eat throughout the day that will help regulate your blood sugars and help you to feel better. So really focusing on whole foods, less processed foods will definitely help and make it easier to avoid all of the added sugar. Thanks for joining us. I hope that you found some good information to help you with next steps for a healthier lifestyle. We're always happy to help you here at Western Wisconsin Health. We have many resources, recipes, and classes available on our website at www.health.org. Please join us again.